Up next tonight, open heart surgery, type 1 diabetes, and kidney failure are three medical conditions that are tough to deal with on their own, but one Heartland man has endured all three health problems in the span of two years. KTVO's Nick Todorovic has more on how a kidney donation could return someone's life back to normal. Kyle Dyer of Kirksville has suffered from type 1 diabetes since he was nine years old. Two years ago, he had open heart surgery to repair a valve. During that operation, doctors told him he had stage four renal failure. Unfortunately, diabetes with kidneys, they just don't, uh, don't go so well together. In the past few weeks, he started dialysis because his kidneys can no longer clean his blood on their own. As Kyle's kidneys worsened, he was found unresponsive in his house. At that time, his wife Christy and their two young children were home. It was a traumatic experience for the family, but Christy says it was a valuable lesson for their kids. Their eight-year-old daughter and six-year-old son both have type 1 diabetes. So Christy hopes that this life experience helps them understand the dangers of the autoimmune disease. Just kind of talking about things and being able to um, show them some of the, the concerns that can happen if, you know, you're not really careful with your help when you have, you know, those kind of autoimmune diseases that can affect all different kinds of organs. Throughout the struggles, Kyle and Christy have started a Facebook page called Kyle Needs a Kidney. They've also raised just over $3,700 on GoFundMe. The family is grateful for the support they've received. Oh man, it's, it's been overwhelming. Um, honestly, it's, it's nice to see how many people are able to help and are willing to help um, knowing that uh, me and, and as a family, my family has touched so many people and they want to help. We do have that, that small town vibe in Kirksville and, and everybody kind of joins together as a village. Kyle has A negative blood, which means he can only accept a kidney donation from someone of the same blood type or from an O negative blood group. Once Kyle finds a donor, he will need to have surgery, and the expected recovery time is six months. Major operations usually change people's lives, but Kyle thinks this operation will bring his life back to normal. And I can start living a regular life with my family again. Um, having an eight and six year old, honestly, that's all I want to do. Just get back to living healthy for them. If you'd like to donate to Kyle, you can click the link on this article on our website. Nick Todorovic, KTVO News.